Hi everybody, welcome to Matagos channel. Kemet's Blood and Sand will come back this year with a new crowdfunding project called Kemet's Rise of the Gods that will introduce some long-awaited features such as a solo mode, a six-player mode, and many more novelties. Today, we are proud to announce that an iconic tile color will come to Blood and Sand, the Amethyst tiles. Originally developed for the Ceph expansion for the first version of uh, Kemet, these tiles were only usable by the player embodying the Evil God Ceph. Now, thanks to a talented pair of designers, every player will be able to use the Amethyst tiles, opening up a whole new range of possibilities and dirty tricks to play to your opponents. The huge majority of these Amethyst tiles are either completely new or have been reworked, and a lot of them will allow you to optimize the use of the veteran tokens that were introduced in Kemet's Blood and Sand. Let's look at the late renowned tile. With it, you no longer have to discard your unused veteran tokens at the end of the night phase. Instead, you can discard five of them to earn a battle fame point. Other effects from the Amethyst tiles will include things such as discarding three battle shards instead of one to gain one veteran token. Of course, with the Amethyst pyramids, you'll also be able to summon deadly creatures. For example, the giant crocodile is back with a new miniature and is also deadlier than ever with an unblockable attack damage. The Vulture and the Hypnotic Snake will also get new miniatures and effects, changing the dynamics of the game. That's just some of the Amethyst styles, but we'll make sure to come back to you guys to tell you more about the rest of them, as well as all about the other novelties from Kemet Rise of the Gods. As such, make sure to follow our YouTube channel and we even have a dedicated newsletter telling you all about this upcoming project. The link is down below. That's all for me and remember, the gods are calling. Do not disappoint them.